Hello and welcome to the Morning Star series, Why Should I Invest With You? I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Will Landers, manager of the BlackRock Latin American Trust. Hi, Will. Hello. So this week marked the one year anniversary of the US electing Donald Trump as president. And you are a Latin American investor. How much does what happens in North America affect investment opportunities in Latin America? Well, for Latin America overall, it's not as important as one would think. But obviously for Mexico, it's very important. Mexico, the, being part of NAFTA, uh, U.S. is their biggest trading partner. Um, NAFTA is important for what we've seen in terms of manufacturing growth in Mexico. Uh, we saw when President Trump was first elected, the peso shoot up in the 20s, uh, came back down, uh, and then the recent rounds of negotiation with NAFTA have caused more volatility around the Mexican peso. Uh, and really, the, the, the worry is that it could actually have an impact on the Mexican election next July as well. So for Mexico, it's, it's very important to see what direction the U.S. is going to take in terms of negotiations around NAFTA. Uh, Immigration seems to be a little less of an issue at this point, um, but I think when you look at where the trust is invested today, where our biggest overweights are, which are Brazil and Argentina, uh, the U.S. is not as big or it's not really part of the investment story there. I think that's an important point to make because, you know, sitting here a year ago, you could have been quite sceptic about the outlook for Latin America in terms of returns. But actually, it's been a pretty good 12 months, hasn't it? Absolutely. I mean, we're up over 20 percent in dollar terms um, as a region. Uh, Brazil's, uh, you know, Latin America as an asset class works when Brazil's working. Uh, unfortunately, the other markets aren't big enough, liquid enough, deep enough to really cause investors to get excited about Latin America if Brazil is in a in a tough situation. And we saw that in the beginning through really uh, the impeachment of President Rousseff uh, last year. But that was a major ter turning point for Brazil and it was a major turning point for Latin America as an investment uh, opportunity. And then looking forward then, can we expect another 20% in the next 12 months? At least so. I think so. Uh, and I hope that at least, at least that, if not more. Uh, what we're seeing, we're in the early stages of economic recovery in Brazil. Uh, interest rates have been cut in half almost from 14 and a quarter to seven and a half. They should finish the year at seven. They should be in the sixes uh, by sometime early in the beginning of 2018. Nobody had that in their forecasts. I think with that, GDP forecasts of 2% are too weak, are too small. We're going to have closer to three, I think. Uh, so with that, I think Brazil's going to have a very strong year. And with this economic recovery in place, it's very hard to see how next year's October presidential election is not going to elect a government that's going to give continuity to its recovery program. So then we could be talking about Brazil for six years, having orthodox economic policies and having the country finally getting back to what we saw in the early 2000s uh, and not really needing the commodity boom that we had in the early 2000s to make the story work. And reform is key when investing in any emerging market, but it has been a good tailwind in Latin America hasn't it? Absolutely. Starting with Brazil again, we had major reforms going on in the middle of the political turmoil, uh, both on the fiscal side as well as just making Brazil more competitive, getting rid of some of the um, um, subsidies on the lending side, which made the central bank less effective uh, on its monetary policy. Uh, labor reform was something that people didn't expect to see happen at this point. Pension reform is the next one that we need to get done. And obviously, there's been a lot of talk uh, over the last few days about that. But President Timmer is behind that. So with that, I think that's setting the place for Brazil to be able to grow on a consistent basis without inflationary pressures. And then when we talk about Argentina, which is off benchmark, but very important in, in terms of uh, our investments in the trust today, uh, President Macri got a huge boost from the midterm elections a few weeks ago, uh, and that's given him the, the strength to continue with the reform process and get Argentina back to being a normal investment opportunity. Plenty of reasons to be positive then. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.